Johnson here, and today I'm going to show you how to put a new battery in your iPhone. Uh, this is for the iPhone 6 or 6S, 6 Plus, and probably a pretty similar process for some of these. But uh, anyway, it's very simple. Just takes a, a few special tools. I did buy a kit, and uh, here's kind of what it came with. Uh, it came with a screwdriver called a Pentelope screwdriver, if you can see this. Okay, so Pentelope, it's kind of like a Torx uh, head one. Uh, it came with a regular uh, common screwdriver, uh, but very small for the small screws that you'll be dealing with. Came with a pair of these nice tweezers, came in handy. Uh, it comes with pretty much like gu guitar picks as you go to break your way through the side of the phone. Um, a suction cup, which comes in handy to stick on it so you can lift the screen and be very careful not to uh, to shatter it. It also came with this pry tool, which was very helpful uh, for taking the ribbon cables off. And so we'll get started and show you how to do this. Okay, so we're going to power the phone down by pushing and holding down this power button. And you should get the sign and you just slide it over. And so now the uh, power is turned off. Then you'll want to remove it from its case, of course. Okay, so here's the phone here. We're going to go towards the bottom and you're going to find these two screws. And these are called pentelope screws or Torx, whichever you prefer. But as you see, there's multiple points on the screwdriver. And so we're going to make sure that it's in fact going in here and not stripping it. And very carefully, we're going to remove both of these. And we have a magnetic dish that we're going to set them in because they're very small and we don't want to lose them. Okay, so once you get that tiny screw out, you can put it in this magnetic tray. You want to make sure you don't lose these or mix them up with the other screws that will be taken out. The screwdriver has a magnetic tip on it, so that helps. But we'll just keep those separated. Just as a side note, also make sure you don't get the magnetic tray near your screen. And so now we're gonna take our suction cup here and we're gonna put it towards the bottom where it has a good suction on it. And you wanna be careful here. You don't wanna just yank up with it or it can crack your screen. We're gonna just lift it up enough just to, to move up and then we're gonna to have to pry along the edges here. So with that in place, we're gonna go ahead and gently pry this apart. Once you get one side up, you can grab another one and kind of work on the other side. You'll hear it kind of break like a little seal. That's fine. But I'd probably try to keep it even on each side too. So don't move on too far on one side. Okay. Now this part you wanna be very careful with because it's still attached at the top with a connection. So you'll set the phone down and gently lift it up and you'll see this ribbon and everything going in here. So now we're at the top of the phone here and we're gonna take out these five screws. There's one, two, three, four, and five. That one over here stays. So we're gonna go ahead. Now we've switched to our other screwdriver that has the regular four points on it. And we're gonna go ahead and take each of these little screws out and keep them separated as well. Now take a pair of tweezers and just remove that little plate and set it aside. And now we're going to undo these ribbons here and here. 
Next, we're gonna take off these two ribbon cables. So we have our pry tool here. We're just gonna come in underneath it and very gently pry up on it and twist it back and forth like that. So I just kind of went right and left like that to kind of twist and it popped straight up. And so there's another one here. There we go. Okay, now there's another one right here. I'm gonna pop that up. So as you can see, we just twist it side to side to lift it straight up. And finally, there's a fourth one right here. Same thing, nice, easy twisting. And so that's how we remove the screen. So here's the battery itself. And there's another ribbon cable for the battery. And so we're gonna take this plate off by removing these two screws here. So there's one here. And the second screw here. So once again, we're putting these in our tray and keeping them separated. Now this plate should come right off. Okay, so now we're gonna pry off the ribbon cable here for the battery itself. Okay. Okay, so next, right here on the battery, this is where the double-sided sticky tape glue stuff is that they have. So you wanna come in on the bottom part of it and pry it up, and then we're gonna be pulling it out parallel with the battery, and it'll come out from the bottom if you've ever seen a 3M sticky tape adhesive thing, it's similar to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over here to start prying this upward. Okay, so now you're gonna grab that sticky tape and you're gonna pretty much pull it straight parallel with the phone like this. And it might keep breaking off a little bit, but you wanna get a good grip on it and just pull it parallel and directly this way. And if you're gentle with it, it should just keep coming. So we're just gonna keep pulling on it. and do that on both sides. There's one. With that done, you can remove the old battery. Okay, so next you're gonna take your double-sided sticky tape. So we're gonna peel off the front of it and set it down in the phone. And this might even be a lot of sticky tape really for this, but we're gonna go ahead and put that down in there. Okay, then just peel back a, a corner and go forward with it until it all comes off. You really don't want any paper shavings or anything inside here, so try to get it off the best you can. So next you're gonna line up your battery, and so the most important part is back here, you, you wanna make sure that you put this in to where the ribbon cable will reach. So I would put the ribbon cable pretty much into place maybe even plug it in first and it pushes straight down but you want to make sure it's lined up there you go you can feel it click into its spot right so then you can line your battery up set it down on the sticky tape so now we'll drop our plate back in place here that goes over the battery connector Keep in mind, out of these two screws, one is longer than the other one. So the longer one needs to go here, 
on this higher spot. You just kind of get it started. You don't have to tighten it down all the way yet. So the next screw is smaller. Okay. So make sure that's in right. Okay, don't go too tight on them. Just make sure that they're snug. Now we're going to be bringing our screen back in. And so we're going to go from the lowest connector as they each come down. And so we're going to do our first one here. Just line it up very gently. Just kind of hover it over its spot. And then as you push down on it, you'll feel if it's going in correctly or not. Okay. Then we're going to move to the one right in front of it. And the final one in front of that. And finally this one off to the front side. Okay, so we're gonna put this cover back into place. Okay, and we're not tightening these down all the way yet. And the tiniest baby screw goes over in this top corner because it's really good, just going into the head of another screw. And there is one that's longer than all the rest. Okay, so the long, longest one goes in this top right corner. Okay, so let's go through and make sure that they're all snug. So as you're closing this back up, pay attention up here. There's two, they're kind of like hinges, but they just need to hook into the top and then it comes downward. Okay, and from there you can push going this way, the opposite of how we removed it. We're just gonna push it back into place. And we're gonna push our power button. Now, if one of the ribbons is not connected right, you'll have lines through everything. So you just wanna take it apart again and reconnect those ribbons. So when you've confirmed that it powers on and the screen looks good, nothing's been broken. Let's we'll put our two screws in back here in the very front. Okay, so we're gonna drop our penelope screws back in the front here. Okay, there's one and two. Once again, don't be too tight on these. Just Get them into where you feel they pretty much stop. Just go back and forth a few times on each side. And move your plunger here. And you're done.